Well, the other thing they were doing were they were taking their guano for fertilizer. So, if you take away what they used to build their homes, and you're already taking away their eggs, they really have no way to protect those remaining eggs that they might have. Um, they did put that stuff to a stop. Their numbers did go back up on the rise for just a little bit. Uh, but what we focus on here are oil spills. So did anyone hear about the oil spill in South America recently? No? Too much other Yes, there was one recently. Um, it affected 4,000 rock hoppers. There are 400 that have already died, at least. That was as of last week, so there's probably a lot more now. Um, but the point behind that is that we don't always hear about the oil spills, and even if we do, we don't always hear, hear about the animals involved. Well, these girls do get the oil spills somewhat frequently. When they do, they might try to clean themselves. They'll ingest that, they'll get sick. But it also eats away that natural waterproofing that they have, so that when they jump in the water, they get hypothermia. Um, so there are organizations set aside towards saving them. It's not all bad news. The one we support is SANCOB, the South African Foundation for the Conservation of Coastal Birds. They've saved over 40,000 of these penguins and 60,000 other seabirds. We like to support them by sending them money. We've sent them about $20,000 over the past couple of years. And then you guys price them, they're going like, well, I don't really have that to throw around. That money actually came from you guys. So part of your ticket cost is set aside towards penguin conservation. Just coming back to see them and getting to touch them today, you have helped support wild penguins. So thank you, you guys have done an awesome good deed today. What I'll do is I'll bring this bench around, put it in front of each group, put a penguin up there, take a couple pictures with your camera. If you guys have questions, feel free to toss it out. Um, I've been yapping to you for just about 15 minutes now. I'm sure you're pretty tired of me here. So feel free, it does not have to be about penguins either. <laughs> All right. Why do you only have girls? Um, they are on a breeding program. Is it two people, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, they are on a breeding program, it's called a species survival plan. So what we're trying to do is not pull any more penguins out of the wild. So every African penguin in zoos and aquariums in AZA is on a, uh, is on a database. And we can say, okay, this one is far enough related from this one across the country. We can put them together and have babies. That way we can keep...